Hello, I'm Andrew Jupin. Eric Shao Khan. Steven Zadak. And we hate movies. Welcome to the season premiere of We Hate Movies on the Sideshow Network. Thank you for tuning in, as always. If you're new to the program, uh, stop what you're listening to. Go back and listen to our first episode on Mortal Kombat. It's a long time ago. It's in the, uh, it's in the back catalog. Go find it. Because today, we are kicking off the new season of We Hate Movies with the most up-to-date listener request month on record. It's a new listener request. Yeah, yeah I, w- I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. we did uh, old requests, that would be odd. Imagine we were just like stockpiling old ass <laughs> calls from like five years ago. No, no. This is a brand new call. It is from Sam, who's uh, requesting Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Hey, guys. My name is Sam Schrader. Uh, I suppose my request, uh, listener request, would be Mortal Kombat Annihilation because not only is it a reprehensible film, but I kind of need to hear some more uh, Raiden and Scorpion jokes from your previous podcast. <laughs> um, thanks so much, guys. Have a great one. Bye. So, yeah, we can, we, I think we can take this ball and run with it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so this is Mortal Kombat Annihilation from 1997, directed by John R. Leonetti. Uh, I think to truly do this episode justice... We should all leave and three new people should take our place. Yeah, because that's pretty much how they did this movie. <laughs> You're right. Well, let's do that. Actually, though, statistically, I think one of us would need to stay behind. Yeah. Who's going to be the Robin Shoe is the question. <laughs> I, well, I, it was him and it was um, Talisa Soto. Yes. Right. Who I think she's in a Bond flick. Uh, one of the one of the um, Timothy Dalton ones, if oh, I remember good for correctly. Her. Yeah, yeah, good for her is right. So and, it's not uh, all been... Yeah, yeah, Chris Cabin was uh, the Johnny Cage role. <laughs> If you've seen more combat annihilation, you... <laughs> well, if that were the case, Chris would have been here for like the first five minutes of the episode and then he'd be murdered <laughs> by a big monster man. Right, yeah. Well, one can hope. Yeah, so this is... <laughs> how many years after the first one is this? This is only two, two. years after, oh, yeah. Wow. Everybody <laughs> left this movie. Just jumping ship, dude. Rats on a sinking fucking ship. Yeah, you, you don't want to be known as the Mortal Kombat guy or gal, right? You want to... <laughs> it's a stepping stone. Yeah. To what? I mean, not like any of these people left for anything. I mean... Then, no, no. I tried to think of something. Nothing. Well, Paul W. S. Anderson left for Event Horizon, which was a big but, trade up. Better move. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think that's true. Lambert did that Beowulf movie that everybody hates. Right. Yes, that's what he. he wa- apparently, he wanted to come back. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he, did. he was signed on for the third movie. Actually, I, was, right, I, were... I have a I have a policy of always skipping the second film in a franchise to uselessly come back for the third. And well, I brought that... in my old college roommate. <laughs> James Remar. Dude, what? what in the flying hell with James Remar? And what in the flying hell with, the, with Christopher Lambert as an unreliable narrator because he was in <laughs> Highlander 2? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. That joke doesn't fly. <laughs> but you know what does fly? Immortals in Highlander 2 because they're from outer space now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a do. stay tuned and a half. <laughs> you know what also flies? Uh, Sub-Zero for some reason. Uh, yeah. Sub-Zero flies. There's a little bit of Liu Kang flight in this movie. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which... If you're going to do it, make him do the bicycle kick. And well, instead, he just lazily flies over a bridge. It looks like the Poochie, I got to go back to my home planet now. <laughs> it's like they pulled the film negative. A strip of Robin shoe just pulled across the screen. Yes. Well, I'm glad you mentioned this special move because that's all what this movie is. Is The first movie is trying to be a real movie. And it almost succeeds. It's not a good movie, but it's like, hey, there's a plot. Like, there's a reason. We get introduced to characters. They all yes. have reasons to be in Mortal Kombat. It tries. It you does. actually see some of the real world as well. Yes. This, you do not have any semblance oh, of reality. No, because it's all in front of a green screen that is making the fucking graphics in Spawn look like fucking Avatar. <laughs> Dude, I think I have more money in my bank account right now than what was spent on the fucking special effects for this movie. And I'm a poor ass podcaster. Yeah, we're not we're not a rich podcaster. We're not a rich show. But that's the thing is the special moves. It's like they they 
instead of a script, they just had a bunch of cue cards to say what the next special move was going to be. And that's <laughs> that's how the movie kind of plays out. It's basically like, you guys played Mortal Kombat 3, right? <laughs> you like playing it? Well, now you can watch someone else play it for you. It's just the game. It's like, introduce a character. Mm-hmm. Take Nightwolf, for example. <laughs> I think I can hold my breath longer than Nightwolf is in this movie. Yeah. And it's just like he does a thing. It takes two seconds. Oh, that's cool. And then he's out of the movie. Oh, he's gone. And especially with Nightwolf, he appears to be the most interesting character in the movie. Well, you know, this movie kicks off with a previously on. Yes. What is that? <laughs> yeah, previously it's... on Mortal Kombat High. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Raiden, uh, also known as James Remar. Uh, I'm. It's like Raiden just kept smoking in between these movies. <laughs> they don't address it. He's not like the Oracle. Yeah. It's, it's a, like, I, I choose a new form. Or That's anything. what they should have done is right. cast an elderly black woman. <laughs> that as Raiden. As the Pertha Mackison. Oh, man. That'd be great. She'd be like a middle-aged storm <laughs> with long white hair. It'd be perfect. I'm into it. But, Better than this movie. Yeah, but James Remar just kind of, he's there and like, he doesn't actually at all try to do the performance that Lambert is doing. No, none It's whatsoever. just like, whatever, it's uh, James Remar. I'm kind of <laughs> like your mom's new boyfriend. I kind of <laughs> don't want to be here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang out in the doorway for a while until uh, you go to sleep. Oh, hey, Devin. I'm, I'm Raiden. I'm here to take your mom on a date. <laughs> and after that, if I sit on the couch for a while, maybe you'll accept me into the family. <laughs> But uh, I gotta hang out here in the old vestibule, play with this door chain. Hey, Devin, uh, you like my Dodge Charger? <laughs> Raiden drives a Dodge Charger when he's picking your mom up for a date. Hey, yeah, uh, Devin, you want to learn how to put out a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> with your tongue? <laughs> Stick it out. <laughs> Hey, Devin, you want to hear my view on Moslems? Wait, you're going to sleep? Okay. Yeah, you're right. You don't want to hear that. Even better, I'd uh, much rather have sexual intercourse with your mother than uh, throw around a bunch of hate speech that's going to be lost on a stupid kid. <laughs> oh, you don't even get it, do you? <laughs> oh, you will, Devin. You will. So, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> We open up. It's 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 the exact end of the last movie, which was and bullshit. No shit. time has passed, and everyone changed bodies. <laughs> what do we become? Assholes or something? <laughs> like it's just it's just right there. Like because because the end of that first Mortal Kombat movie is a real. You're not going to believe this. Mm-hmm. With Shao Kahn just fucking laughing up in the clouds with his hands on his <laughs> hips and shit's falling over, and a bunch of monks are scared as hell. And what happens? John, now, Johnny Cage was a major part of that first movie, Absolute, and he yep. helped close this portal and save the day. Nope, gets his neck broken immediately. Almost immediately. And that was me getting my fat kid heartbroken because I was a huge Johnny C- Cage fan back in the day. Because I'm pr- probably a little gay, but that's fine. <laughs> I, <laughs> we, we're we're, we're yeah, all just, on the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. And I, I was just like, not Johnny Cage. Well, this also is not the same Johnny Cage. Like, you couldn't get that guy back for, like, the few minutes. Oh, you mean Lyndon Ashby? No, you couldn't get him back. Lyndon Ashby, IMDb Trivia, says he read the script and turned it down. Because <laughs> he wasn't satisfied with the script. Well, maybe, uh, do you think they wrote him out because of that? Or did they just snap his oh, neck? Oh, do you think he was just like, wait. Johnny Cage is dead by page three. Well, yeah. fuck it. We just need you to come in for an afternoon, Lyndon. <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting, though. And if this were a better movie, I would uh, say that this is actually a bold choice by the screenwriters, right? Like, imagine we start, uh, uh, like, let's say Wrath of Khan. Sure. Right? And it's all your beloved characters you've known for years. And Sulu just gets shot in the fucking head with a phaser in the first five minutes. Yeah. And he's dead. And, and from that moment on, Commander Sulu is dead in Star Trek. Yeah. You'd be like, wow, that's fucking brave. Stakes but in this are movie, high in this movie, yeah. It's like, be, well, well, fuck you, Johnny Cage. You, Nobody cares. You know, in Star Trek, they just bring him back next movie with some magic bullet. Yeah, no, that I guess shoots that's, a planet. I guess also, that's true. that uh, Star Trek draft was written by William Shatner. <laughs> just, every time, it's just like, and then, uh, then uh, Takai gets it. <laughs> this is the one where Takai gets it, right? <laughs> Look, I keep doing these movies only hoping that Takai's going to get it in one of them. I yeah, think I'd like be- to be on a different spaceship than uh, <laughs> than uh, William. Man, you know <laughs> that that goddamn starship that he's captaining is a classy-ass outfit. Yeah, Excelsior? The Excelsior? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, he's got 
pristine china to drink tea from on the bridge. Oh, yeah. Yep. Guarantee you the fucking <laughs> Enterprise smells like a goddamn tobacconist. George, I'm sure you could captain a ship. I just think integral for the story, it would be better if you were shot in the head. <laughs> Imagine me having to mourn you. Yes. It'd be like, sure leave forever. <laughs> oh, no, you're not a Vulcan. We can't bring you back. Now, one thing I, I want to point out about Mortal Kombat Annihilation, because I, I'd never seen it until last night. I very smartly avoided it for almost going on 20 years at this point. But they almost get you. Because at the start of this movie, yep. it's that delicious... You know what? Let's just get a little bit of it again. And I am pumped as hell to watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That fucking song is timeless. Yep. It's absolutely timeless. <laughs> timeless. Dude, I was pumped as hell ready to watch this movie. That, that's, they should have been... <laughs> in, in, in Star Trek 2009, James <laughs> T. Kirk should have been listening to that instead of the Beastie, Beastie Boys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's much like... You know, it starts up and you're getting all excited and then all of a sudden James Remar starts jawing at you and it's yep. like... Oh, sorry, Devin. Thought that was your dad, huh? We have the identical car horn. I t- <laughs> sorry. Uh, I guess we both go to Rodriguez's auto shop, Devin. I hey, mean, Devin. A, a lot of people use it. It's a, it's a good outfit. Hey, Devin, you asleep? <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's instantly squashed. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, I exactly. was like, oh, no, wait. Mm-hmm. Oh, James Remar. And also, he's not even bothering to play a scuzzy Raiden. No. So it's not even like someone dialed 1-900-scumbag. Nope. It's just James Remar in a legitimate piece of casting. <laughs> And I don't appreciate that. And so Shao Kahn is there. He brings, and I mean, like, everybody's in this movie. You care about Mortal Kombat. You like your little, you love to do some Mortal Kombat star fucking. (laughs) You come watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation. (laughs) Hey, for all you guys out there that really like to watch Jade get beat up. Sure. She's in it. Mm Mm-hmm. Hey, you an Ermac fan by any chance? He well, makes well, yes, the, I am. He makes it to the third act for some reason. <laughs> uh, how about how about a character that Steve gave me shit for? I think it was on the Substitute episode, Rain. <laughs> ah, I told you people cared about Rain. Somebody cared about Rain. Not Shao Kahn. He fucking kills him when he's on screen for only two minutes. Oh, yeah, Shao Kahn does not care for Rain. Shao Kahn, by the way, played by the dude from the X Files. Yep. Uh, well, he's from everything. He was all, most recently in Dragonheart, which we just did. Oh, right. right Brian yeah, yeah. Thompson. I yes, his yes, name. yes. Yeah. He's he's also in Highlander ish. Oh, uh, I'm sure he's back there. Yeah, <laughs> he's back there hanging if out. With he's not, I mean, he could be. That mm-hmm. that is a face that. Speaking of timeless. Oh yeah. Any barbarian you want, just throw him in. He played two different monsters on Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. I think I played a monster on Buffy. They got everybody in there. <laughs> what I don't understand about this dude, though, and I guess it's just the character of Shao Kahn that he was getting into, because on the X-Files, he doesn't talk. Mm. And I don't remember a second of Dragonheart, really. But in this movie, he's doing some sort of accent. And I was like, where's this dude from? And I looked it up. The state of Washington. <laughs> It's, and this dude kind of sounds like he's doing a Christopher Lambert impression. He's doing like a, you know, Shakespearean question mark kind of thing. Like everything's a little bit farther. Yeah, it's oh. it's really Falstaffian. Oh, wait, wait. Mortal Kombat, that's kind of high art, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? It's sort of like, oh, it, this is like Summerstock when I played Shakespeare. <laughs> when you played Shakespeare? <laughs> yes, in the autobiographical play, <laughs> Man About Stratford. <laughs> on Avon. Colon on Avon. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to write another play today while high on marijuana. Oh, Oh. no, I'm a hundred different people now. (laughs) Derek Jacoby's typing on a typewriter. (laughs) So, yeah, all these these, uh, 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 outworld baddies start jumping in. (laughs) This poor temple, once again, Liu Kang's former home, destroyed in seconds. Just destroyed. And it's like, you know what, Liu Kang? You left this land at one point, 
to get your Dorita chips and your leather jackets and your whatever else, mm-hmm. and you shouldn't ever fucking come back. Don't look now back, man. You're bringing all these horn helmet wearing dragon people with you. You got an outright centaur and M- Motaro. You know you can't go home again. They were right. <laughs> they were right. <laughs> Man, Motaro in this movie, uh, not as bad as he could have looked, but the actor what? playing him. You know what the actor playing him looks like? A porn, a porn star? Yes. yes. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. 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 No. Why Motaro should have done porn? Dude, this movie looks like a Mortal Kombat porno parody. Yes. It does, yes. It absolutely does, it does. Especially the woman playing, what's the woman with the forearms? Shiva. 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 Yeah. That's a porn star. Sure. Is she? Oh, oh no. no, I don't know. I mean, like... the woman playing Sindel, she's dressed like you know a what? porn star. You know what? I could, you know, I'm not, maybe I'm saying too much, but I could watch those two monsters go at it. <laughs> oh, I hope that's green blood. <laughs> just out of curiosity. Oh, sure. Just out of more Mortal Kombat curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> so, Johnny Cage doesn't even get a hero's death, right? It's like, there's nope. a new Sonya. He um, gets, uh, henchmen get better deaths. Yeah, he <laughs> <Yes. laughs> He, he just like he he gets to do a shadow kick, which I do appreciate, which looks like complete shit. It looks like garbage, but they didn't have it in the first movie, right? No, I don't think yeah, he does he, any of his super no? Moves. He, well, he does the split oh, the punch, nut, yeah, the nut, the nut oh, jab. Yeah, how can I forget a good nut shot? But yeah. he does the shadow kick. It looks like garbage, and then he gets his neck broken, and it's like oh oh, and I, you kind of think you're like oh, and then they're gonna bring him back or something. Maybe he's gonna turn into fucking sector. Who no, knows? Right. You, anything could happen, but no. Why not? Why yeah. not rewrite the, the classic, timeless origin story of Sector to make it so that, <laughs> so that Johnny Cage is built does, into Sector? Does Sector appear, or is it only Cyrax? Only Cyrax. He gets the shaft. Right. So- no, they're both in it. No, Are- that's smoke, brother. There's not there's not a red one. <laughs> no, there's not the movie. You're, oh, you're thinking of Air Mac. <laughs> oh, oh, I was thinking it. You know Maybe, what? Maybe, yeah, I guess. Dude, if I had a dime for every time I was thinking about <laughs> Air Mac, dude. You want to waste your whole life? You go on Wikipedia and you look up some of these Mortal Kombat character biographies. Stop it. Dude. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson never had it so good. The, <laughs> the Wait, amount of words <laughs> spilled on Ermac alone will make you blush. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Tom, uh, Thomas Jefferson showed up in one of these sequels. <laughs> Because they got Jason Voorhees in they Mortal Kombat Jason. X. It's fucking stupid. Really I, I, I kind of, I was, um, th- th- have you played it? Yeah, I did. Um, it's probably great. Though, I got a little right? brother and it just kind of, it, it speaks to exactly what these, what the game always like kind of inspired in me. It was like, I just want to watch people do fatalities. Right. Like, I was, I was home during Christmas. He was playing Mortal Kombat. I was like, yeah, dude, you want to do some fatalities for me? And he's like, yeah, man, I got them all. And I was like, cool. Hey, that, that's pretty cool. Your big brother's just going to sit back on the couch and watch you do fatalities <laughs> while I drink some beer. Hey, hey Devin, <laughs> I'm just going to sit back here and watch you play video games, and maybe you'll accept me as your real father one day. I'm not your real father, though. Don't get any ideas. Bro. Hey, Devin, uh, newsflash, pal. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I love your mother. You this play, is here to stay. Play your fatalities all the live long day, Devin. I'm going to bed with your mother tonight. Hey, Devin, I'm going out for some cigarettes. Tell your mother I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Devin, did you block me on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so Johnny Cage <laughs> dies. They erect a temple around his dead body. And I don't know if that is like the work of these blessed monks uh-huh. or if it's like a, another Shao Kahn thing. It's never explained. No, no, this, a big, nothing's explained. Like no. a hand-shaped tree comes out of the ground mm. and lifts his dead body eh, seven feet in the air. Sure. <laughs> and that's the end of it. That's all you see. And it's no one's ever like... Well, what are we going to do about this? Yeah. It's just left there. He deserves a proper burial. And also, spoiler alert, at the end of this movie, when Shao Kahn is defeated and all, that whole timeline is reversed or whatever, Johnny Cage isn't brought back to life. No. Almost everybody else is. Yep. No sign of Johnny Cage at the end of this movie. Man, they hated Lyndon Ashby. <laughs> they probably had to do so many rewrites. <laughs> he, he probably... like. Yeah, Johnny Cage is a main character in that first movie. Guaranteed, this was a thing. You know what? It, I guarantee fucking to you, this is what happened. They didn't have hide nor hair of Jacks in this movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It was yeah. Sonya, Johnny, Lou, and Katana. Yep, farting around through Outworld, and they were like, "Oh shit, Lyndon's quitting." Well, let's kill off Johnny. Who do we got out of the thirty character <laughs> roster? 
I, Jax is a pretty sharp character. I mean, we don't have Art anymore, so <laughs> yeah. I guess. I can't believe we killed Art. I told you not to kill Art off. So we go beneath the Earth's surface, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're going underground. Or yeah, at, yeah. at least a cave. Because the Hollow Earth. The yes. Hollow Earth. And Raiden is like, okay, uh, hey, hey, Devin, <laughs> here's the deal. Uh, he basically explains that um, Shao Kahn has opened a portal and Shao Kahn is heavily influenced by Judeo-Christianity, so they've yep. got six days to unmake the Earth. <laughs> yeah, I don't Somebody know. Somebody snuck a Bible into Outworld, I guess? Dude, how does Shao Kahn know <laughs> that the Earth in Christianity was, was, uh, was made in six days? Mm-hmm. And on the seventh day, something else happened. Yep. Because in this movie, he's like, in six days, Earth will be destroyed. And on the seventh, I'm going to gang fuck every animal <laughs> as far as they're like, whatever his like master plan is, right, yeah. he's ready to enact it or whatever. And it's just like, how did you know? What else do you know about that religion? It's so yeah. dumb. It's, it's, I mean, he's dressed like before Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I guess he, the plot is to merge worlds a la the Super Mario Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Big time. So He's, maybe he went and did some re- reconnaissance. He kind of... Dr- oh, that's... Shao Kahn learned something today. <laughs> Dude, that's... <laughs> that's wh- when... Oh, seven days. Dude, that's what I want is a little, like, maybe, like, a prologue scene where it's Shao Kahn in New York. <laughs> and yeah. he, like, goes through, like, some sort of Terminator portal and he's, like... Got to find regular clothes, and yep. he's walking around like Forty Second Street, just like looking at hookers or something. You know, like that's mm-hmm. I need that because that's how, like, that's what it is. And then he wanders into yeah. one of those crazy like savior churches, yeah, you know, those... or, like, or like a street preacher. Yes, oh yeah. And he spends the night with the street preacher. He takes him to a homeless shelter. He gives him a good meal. It's like a weird, uneasy alliance, sort of like maniac cop and that homicidal maniac. <laughs> I forgot his name, but I think it was in part two. Killer sure. Joe. Yeah. Ironically enough, Brian Thompson was in Terminator. Brian Thompson's in Terminator? Yeah, he plays the punk that Schwarzenegger kills to take his coat. Oh. Because they're built similarly. Like, well, he's a Hulk and monster, you know? That's not Bill Paxton? I think Bill Paxton's in that scene, but he's not. He's, he's a he's different just, punk? Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, so... So Mortal Kombat Annihilation. We're <laughs> beneath the earth and Raiden's like, all right, we need to assemble. He, and this is uh, basically this whole movie is a big team building exercise. It's like your boss made you go to this fucking camp for the weekend. <laughs> and every co-worker is going to learn how to be best buds. It's like, all right, we, we can't do it alone. We've got to. We got to work as a team, guys. Not only do we have to work as a team, but they try to wedge it in a little later on in the film. Uh, the power of love. Mm hmm. In my Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and he's like, okay, uh, you know, uh, Katana and Liu Kang, you go find my buddy Night Wolf. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> hey, uh, Sonya. And she's like, I'm sad about Johnny Cage. This is the only time I'm going to mention him. He's like, yeah, that's great. Why don't you go find Jax? <laughs> and... Oh, I have this uh, cool little American Gladiator contraption you guys can travel under the Holy earth with. Holy shit. Dude, it's an underground system of pinball machine <laughs> parts. This is like an elevator in our world. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you can travel and they... But no, we're on Earth, though. So it's basically... Oh, my God. I don't know. Up from down. Is this... Was this does this exist right now? Can I take this? I is this like does. below the subway? Yeah, yep. it might be. It's only for the Illuminati <laughs> and Thunder Gods and Elder Gods. Yeah, a lot of Elder Gods in this movie. Yeah, it's a weird thing where you get in the big iron gladiator ball uh-huh. with a buddy, <laughs> and it rolls wherever it wants to, uh, or wherever you want it to. By the way, all due to the hot air rising from the core of the... They this, is, tr- this is Willy Wonka shit. Dude, they try to science up this <laughs> stupid-ass metal ball. Fuck you, it's just magic. Mm. Hey, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, how about it's just magic? <laughs> yes. Are you kidding me with this? No, we have to do some science now because we got <laughs> robots. There's robots. Robots don't use magic. Jesus Christ, these robots. Also, I cannot believe that Cyrax isn't in this movie. No, Sector isn't in this. Cyrax Which, is... I can't believe the red one's not there. <laughs> the the one. yellow Power Ranger is here. And that That's is another thing, by the way, is this movie, not only could it go porno at any second. <laughs> yeah. This movie does look like it's it's filmed with like the quality uh, set design and film stock of a fucking 1990s Power Rangers episode. Oh, for sure. What? 
Most of the sets are made out of Nerf. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're doing... They're all made out of Nerf. Dude, it's like you're ro- farting around on the set of Nickelodeon's guts. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, I spilled beer all over my script. Don't oh. worry, man. It's made out of Nerf. <laughs> I wrote the script on Nerf. I made it easier. Oh, no. Shao Kahn's got his Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> I made a note that there's one part where they're running around some cave, and I said, this looks like Legends of the Hidden Temple. It oh, just yeah, It's it a bad TV game show. And, like, what do you do in New Line Cinema? This is 1997. There's some money floating around. Come on. I don't know what pyramid scheme this was part of, but I don't know where the... Show me the receipts on this Mortal Kombat movie. It's 97. You've got all that scream money that you made. Mm -hmm. Come on. So Liu Kang and Katana run afoul of smoke first. He he bursts them out of their little bubble. Smoke. And does it say smoke? I think it might. Or maybe that was my internal head. (laughs) My my uh, my my inner child yelling I, smoke. My my inner child was going because I, I I saw this movie once and I think maybe through the cloud of my Donny Cage depression I don't remember <laughs> anything of it. Right. But every time somebody came up, I was like, "Oh shit, smoke! Oh crap, it's Cade! Holy <laughs> shit, it's Baraka! Oh, oh it's man. Night World! <laughs> Wait, is that Ermac? Hold oh. on." I'm going to start jerking off my favorite character, Ermac. <laughs> Just to quickly mention Baraka. Uh, Holy fuck. Does this, this, he looks like he belongs in Troll 2. He does. He looks exactly that way. Dude, I was saying he looks like the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> and by the way, for the record, I still think trauma movies are garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I don't know. They get into a fight. Then S- S- Sub-Zero shows up, like, almost immediately after. I think he helps defeat Smoke. Yeah, he... He freezes him. Yes. yes. And he doesn't have a mask. And they're like, oh, it's sub zero. He's like, no, that was my older brother who <laughs> totally died in the last movie. I'm his younger brother, Chili Willy, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> just, just, you know what, Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Whatever. <laughs> just have him resurrected. And it's like, there's no explanation for Scorpion, and he gets killed in the first movie. Right. And now it's just like the Sub Zero Jr. <laughs> is like, you know, I don't really like the, all the. Changes the Shao Kahn administration is putting on Outworld. Yeah, dude, he's defecting to the yeah, other side. He's like the rebels. Because Katana has to be like, now, now, hang on, Sub Zero. I know that you hate Liu Kang because yeah. Liu Kang killed your older brother. <laughs> but we're we got to fight for the same side right now. The enemy of my enemy is my friend at this exact moment. So you got to turn sides. He's like, all right, that's cool. And then Scorpion comes up, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Scorpion mm-hmm. Sub Zero fight. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna. I think this fight's actually pretty good. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> I thought it was the laziest two fat guys trying to do <laughs> gymnastics fight I've seen in a movie. In a real, they are the fight choreography is terrible. I can't believe you thought this was a good fight, it's, Eric. Come on, I, I'll split the difference. Oh, come on, because <laughs> you know at least it's like the it's like basically the one fight that's not uh, two guys in like. F- football pads running into each other because you got American these, gladiators. Yeah, you got these robots and jacks. It's like, what am I watching? Yeah, these they're karate fighting. They're they're recognizable characters doing recognizable moves to each other. Nice ice clone usage right here. Yeah, that was pretty I, good. I appreciated that. Uh, the whole fight lasts about ninety <laughs> seconds though, and uh, they both fall off a cliff or something. No, well, what happens? I don't even remember. Uh, there, there's a big ice precipice that's going on. They're going up and down because well, sub-zero had to make that ice bridge and um i guess oh no sub-zero is hanging off the ledge right and Liu kang has been informed that like katana is the key to everything blah 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 right rain's like just no matter what take care of your mother for me i'm, go- I'm gonna go out for some cigarettes <laughs> and he uh you know sub-zero is who he's met sub-zero's little brother by the way is hanging <laughs> yeah. near his dad i just can't even all right, Liu Kang loses cha- loses uh, his charge, goes to to save Sub Zero and Scorpion. Oh my God! Kidnaps Katana and goes sucker. Oh yeah, yeah! The suckers! And then he jumps into like a what is it like a gushers candy? <laughs> And he's transported somewhere else. Dude, that big burst of fruit flavor, I thought fucking Frankie Munez was going to be standing behind it going, radical! And neither of... And Sub-Zero's like, well, that sucks. Goodbye, movie. And you're like, 
Can't wait to see Scorpion again. Goodbye, movie. Dude, it is insane the way these characters just walk out of the movie town. <laughs> it's so crazy. It, is is yellow more expensive than red? Give all <laughs> Ermac's lines to Sub-Zero. I can't or believe Scorpion, the play that yeah. Ermac gets in this movie. <laughs> Well, Scorpion had a shift down at the fire grill starting. <laughs> he's the manager there now, you know. Oh, no, the happy hour. <laughs> I gotta go. Hey, hey, guys, I was over at Outworld earlier before I came here to clock in. Get a load of this. I beat up Sub-Zero's little brother. You remember him from high school? I then get this. I kidnapped that Princess Katana, and I called these other two guys suckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suckers. Okay, whatever. Well, we got some kebabs that need fucking grilling. <laughs> Dude, how did suckers... Is that a drink special? Get over here! Mudslide! You know, Scorpion, I just don't know if things are going to work out with me and Devin's mother. <laughs> I'm glad I can come down to the fire grill and vent my problems a little bit, you know? So good bartender's invaluable. Mudslide! <laughs> Half off mudslide, dude. This suckers that'll make your skin crawl, right? Dude, it's I, just you're I embarrassed couldn't... to be in your own home. I was watching it and I was obnoxiously <laughs> texting both of you while I was watching it, and I was like, just I, I think I said to Steve, like I can't keep up with it because every time I say something was like the stupidest thing that'll be in the movie, the next stupidest thing, and as I was typing again. Scorpion called somebody <laughs> suckers, and I just put the phone down. Oh yeah, you'd be there all night. Dude, this is too much to write. I mean, I, I, it just—it's so mind-boggling that the word "suckers" was thrown into this. Movie. <laughs> it's a cartoon. Once that happens, we're in a cart. I'm just yep. watching a cartoon. Well, then that gushers explosion <laughs> happens, so it's most definitely a cartoon. So we cut to Sonia, who's looking for Jack. She finds him. I, I mean, like. I don't even know what the story is. No, here. there's no story, but it's clever. <laughs> it's clever, though, and I'll tell you why. Why? Because, hey, we got to get one of these freaky deaky robots in here pretty soon. Whoa, Jax? Robot arms? Maybe he's in the laboratory where they make the robots. So what? are you saying that he was like... Two arms into a robot conversion? Well, no, he Maybe. said he's 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 chained up like Frankenstein on a table, right? Yeah, like you would, like you would to to Jax. And Sonya comes in, she's like, "What?" And she's like, not even that surprised. Like, what did you do to yourself this time? I don't understand. I mean, we see the exterior of this building, mm -hmm. and it's a massive government compound. It's a bond compound. Yes, and they say something about like everyone's cleared out and left or whatever. This man is left on this operating table, chained down in this massive government facility. Like, it makes no sense. And he says, like, oh, I wanted to get an upgrade because of all the crap that's going on. So I I had them put me these metal things on my arms. In in Mortal Kombat lore, just so you know, yep. Jax lost his arms. And he yes, got metal these arms. are new arms. Later on, they in a fight, these, these fake arms get removed and he's got regular arms and it's bullshit. He's Total bullshit. Furious. He's wearing... <laughs> he's fucking furious. I was fucking furious. If you're going to do Jax, <laughs> do Jax fucking right. Dude, he is wearing like the shitty movie equivalent of Hulk gloves. Yes. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And the, bi the bigger bit of bullshit about it is at one point Raiden's like, oh, you're Jax. But you look different. And he's like, yeah, I got an upgrade. And he's like, you know, you don't need bionic limbs to be, a, to be the real Jax. You can be all the Jax you want to Jax, Jax, Jax. And he's like, yeah, maybe that'll come into play later in the movie. We'll see, <laughs> Raiden. Shut up. And sure as shit, he rips those things off like the puppet arms they are. So he, he, he's chained up. In an abandoned factory, like it's a zombie movie, and like it's 28 <laughs> days later, it's Resident <laughs> Evil. Yes, and Sonya like tries to get him out, and he has super strength, so he busts out of them. And then all of a sudden, everybody's favorite Cyrax, you know, edges out Sector Ooh, out the door. Yeah, Cyrax, <laughs> dude. It, let, let me. I'm sorry, but we're a hundred percent that Sector's not in this movie. I'm hundred percent. I'm pretty sure he's not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he walked in the even, background. <laughs> I wasn't even fucked up watching this, and I could have sworn that nope. Sector was in it. I bet you know what happened. I think Sector was crossing the street with a box of donuts, <laughs> and then Sonya hit him with a car. <laughs> I think that's what happened. It's entirely possible. You might want to check the balance on your color levels. Maybe that's that. That might be the problem. Because there's literally no difference between the two characters. 
Is there, there is more no. than one robot in this movie? There's two. Yes, yeah, smoke, smoke is a robot. So we never see smoke as the ninja smoke. No, he's he's, he's exclusively robot yes. smoke. Right. Yes. Unless you're watching the video game or reading the booklets. <laughs> Because I think he started out as a ninja, He right? did, yeah. He was a regular old ninja. And then they turned him into a goddamn robot. But wait a second. You maniacs! <laughs> <laughs> wait a second, though. Who is the ninja then when uh, Shao Kahn's like, something, something, did you guys do it right? And he picks him up and throws him in the That's fire That's rain, motherfucker! Oh, rain! That's oh, fucking rain, rain, man! Rain, smoke. I'm sorry. All these elements, you well, guys. Yeah. We're, we're, we'll, we'll get to rain's demise. <laughs> Our appearance and immediate demise. Actually, I mean it's a big fight. It's a big dumb fight in the factory. Uh, oh, with Sonya Jacks. Yeah, Cyrax, Cyrax gets a good a, a good net thing that turns somebody into a really bad looking skeleton, which never happened. And here's something: when you're making a movie and you're spending millions of dollars to make this movie, and there's a bunch of bad special effects, you know what the least you can do is buy a fake skeleton, hold yep. it just yes. out of frame. Yep. Start rolling the camera and throw the fake bones on the ground mm-hmm. because this net comes out and melts this guy, which doesn't happen in the game. Yeah, that, that was, there, there, there's a net. One of them has a net. He that, does have a net, and you just get caught up in it. Right, yeah, And yeah, it yeah. gives you a, you a chance as Cyrax to then go and like you know beat the shit out of your opponent while they're stunned. But this 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 ninja just melts to nothing mm-hmm. but bones, and then it's like the worst little CGI bones like <laughs> fall, and it's the worst. Fucking Foley score of these bones hitting the floor. Just get a fake skeleton. What a waste of time. I mean, this <laughs> it's terrible. And you know, whatever. This scene ends. Sonya does a kiss of death, which we all. She, it's it, there's like I guess dust. It what was must that? radioactive what dust or something. Gas dust or something, <laughs> dude. It must be gunpowder because what else would do that in fire? It she makes had, no she fucking had that sense. That kiss of death fatality. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe she's got some. Kiss dust. Well, that's well. She picks it up off the floor. There's a container saying something. It's like danger, and she goes and blows it on him. And then, oh, you know, you know what that is, though, you guys, because in the game, when she did the kiss of death, yeah. she would go, yeah. and then like little lips would fly around and hit you, and you'd die. Yeah, this is how you ground a fatality yeah, in sure. reality. <laughs> this is a reality fatality. Oh, right. You use the 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 toxins off the ground. She picked up a bunch of fucking you know potassium what? chloride and spit it at, at him. At the end of this movie, she should have like a radioactive catcher's mitt paw of a hand. That's like, <laughs> oh my God, what did I do? Oh, she picks it up. She goes, oh no. She, went back <laughs> she breathed it in before she blew out. I can't believe I huffed before I puffed. <laughs> Never huff before you puff, kids. That's exactly right. Now you know, Devin, one time I, I huffed before I puffed. <laughs> and that's how I got fired from 7-Eleven. Wait, wait, cigarettes, you, 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 huff, you huff before you puff? No, no, marijuana, you huff before you puff. Puff and then huff first. We'll get to it later, Devin. Hey, Kathy, Devin and I are in here bonding. What's the ETA on that beef stew? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... This is a good enough time now that both Cyrax and Smoke are R.I.P.D. and we're do- we're out of robots at this point. Yeah, robots in Mortal Kombat in general around the horn. I don't think that they belong there. No, it's a bad idea, and you know why? I have <clears throat> no source of a Doctor Robotnik or a Doctor Wily mm-hmm. or something like that. I need a scientist Whoa. to be inventing these fucking robots. You know, I would agree with you, but I thought Mortal Kombat three was pretty cool. <laughs> Mortal Kombat three, I think, is my second favorite Mortal Kombat game. Not being Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 2 is the pinnacle, I would say. But I have to say, after that, I totally fell out with Mortal Kombat. I did for a fashion own that DC versus Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's a pretty good game. Which was okay, but you know what? Fucking blow me, no fatalities. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Why? Just because you don't want fucking Superman's head to get ripped off? Eat shit. That's the laziest that fucking... That sucks. That's a coward's way out of making a video game. <laughs> so the Joker doesn't have any fatalities? No, one, there's no fatalities. That there are brutalities. Shame. Where it's just, it's a fucking punch combo and I fall the fuck asleep. Fuck that, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's useless. That's why I sold that game. I think I got four and a half cents store credit <laughs> at GameStop. <laughs> so, uh, you know, after losing Katana, Liu Kang goes out to the desert to find Nightwolf or himself. I'm not sure. Which. I think it's a little. <laughs> yeah, it's just gotta get there. It, they go on a fucking vision quest, man. Yeah, they, they do. They do a bunch of peyote in the woods, dude. I was waiting for Jim Morrison to pop out somewhere. Yeah, Nightwolf or, or, or vision. 
or a vision of Brackus. <laughs> <laughs> Brackus. Nightwolf comes out as a wolf and then quickly, really terribly morphs into a man. Woof, this, this transformation. Dude, it's terrible. It's so terrible. Like, you know what? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. If I if I could go back in time to 1996 and visit the set of Mortal Kombat Annihilation, I would tell them not to bother. Well, because all you need to do is just you, he's a wolf, and then Liu Kang like you close up on his face, and he makes like a face, and then all of a just, sudden he's turned into a, a man, and then it's over. Or you know, just cut to an actual wolf running around. No, <laughs> that's money. Wolf rental fees. That's this, through the roof. Uh, it's worth it. It's oh, worth I know it. it's worth it. I'm just telling you why they didn't do it. And this is the absolute worst screenplay I've ever seen. Because, oh, God. Uh, White Night Wolf comes out. And he's like, oh, you want to beat Shao Kahn, huh? <laughs> you dumb kid. You're going to have to pass three tests. <laughs> you dumb kid. By the way, Liu Kang's fucking 15 years older than this guy. <laughs> three tests. What is your quest? <laughs> what is your favorite color? <laughs> I, I forgot the third one. <laughs> so did this movie. They only showed two quests and never mentioned a third. <laughs> You're this right. pile of shit. The first thing he does, he's like, okay, you got to go into a dreamlike state and find your animality. And man, the amount of times they say animality in this movie. Dude, it's not enough as it could have been because the movie just kind of forgets that there's animalities <laughs> for a little bit. But you're totally right. You got to find your animality. My animality is a wolf. Oh, As you fuck, noticed. Fucking no kidding, Nightwolf. You know what? Here's the thing. Not once in either of these movies is anyone using the word fatality. Sure. You can't just then start sling slanging <laughs> fucking animality all over the walls of this movie. In the in the first movie, they show Johnny Cage's friendship, but it's not like, oh, hey, he's later like, hey, did you see my friendship, Liu Kang? Like, no. Oh, because he, he autographed the picture? Yeah, that's like his friendship. So it's like a fun little nod to it. But did that movie predate friendships? No, this that movie was out in second in the second one. The second the first movie the first game just had fatality. Second game introduced friendships. Third game introduced animalities. And I guess we and were robots. animality <laughs> and what? And, and robots. And robots. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what I just realized? I thought ahead and we're not even talking about my favorite part of the movie <laughs> yet. Uh, but let's let's keep chugging through. Well, let's, let's let's quickly tell. Oh, did you have more? No, 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 no. Let's talk about Rain again, real quick, <laughs> dude. <laughs> my favorite character, Rain. You know what? When we're off the air, I'm gonna ask you to take your shirt off so I can see your back and make sure there isn't a Rain tattoo on it. There just might be. <laughs> well, yes, so, about so Rain. Sh- Shao Kahn needs a new general because Rain fucked up. Uh, what? I have no idea. Apparently, he lets some people live when he should have killed them. He let uh, N- Stryker and Cabal live. Oh, boy. I wish I could have seen them. Yep. Nope. I would have really liked those characters. Wait a minute. What? They, he's like, oh, did you kill those guys I asked you to kill? He's like, Stryker and Cabal? Actually, I didn't. I let them live because I thought that they might be useful. And then he gets killed. Oh, wait a second. But we don't see that, right? No, no, we don't. no. It's all off screen. <laughs> oh, wait. What in the <laughs> fuck? I just, I missed that line of dialogue completely. Uh, so did I. I had the opportunity to see fucking Stryker in this movie and yep. was denied. At Cabal, oh, even, he this, looks cool. This, yeah. <laughs> this movie's even worse. <laughs> so he picks up Rain, chucks him into the fire, and that's it for Rain. And that's, uh, I mean, we're talking... 45 <laughs> seconds of screen time. You'd think rain would put out the fire. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, he needs a new general. Uh, and I love this scene because, you know, you got Martaro hanging around. Yeah, and that like, dude's looking like he's ready to fuck man, woman, or duck, dude. This yeah, guy. well, he says, he's like, if you make me general, I will personally hunt down every human soul. And it's like, I don't think he grasps how many humans there are. Yeah, you know he's what, seen Martaro, like four so far. Martaro, that's going to take you a long time. Even on your four little hooves. And then what I love is uh, Air Max pitch. Because he sounds like a weird used car salesman or something. He's just like, souls, I will get them for you. For you, I will get the souls. Souls, oh man, my soul... I know that I've been lacking in the soul department, boss. But uh, he's like he's like Jack Levin in uh, Glen Gary. <laughs> uh, uh, if you just if you just give me those Glen Gary leads, I'll get you all the souls. <laughs> oh my God, he's ninja outfits are for closers. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like that? Go be a fucking robot somewhere else. <laughs> you know what, Ermac? You can't come across the street for Chinese food because fuck you and suck my dick. <laughs> This cost me six thousand dollars. 
Glengarry Glen Combat. Ooh, let's... <laughs> When Scorpion's on a good run, he's like, ooh, I'll buy you a pack of gum, show you how to chew it. You know what, Scorpion? Go fuck yourself. A, B, K. Always be combating. <laughs> Whose name's on the board? Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, oh, no, I will make a new general. General Queen Sindel. She's like got seven titles. What a fucking demerit. And Sindel, I guess, is Kitana's mother. Get ready for the fucking linea- lineages right. of these oh, characters. Oh, I'm sorry, was- Steve. Didn't you read the booklet to Mortal Kombat 3? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know She's if that's the- actually true or not, but I had to sling it back at you because I got my balls busted in the last Mortal Kombat episode. <laughs> it's true, though. She In the booklet, she's a mother. Oh, yeah. yeah obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um- <laughs> Wait, that means she's also the mother of Melina. Yes. <laughs> Who right. also has about 48 seconds of screen time. And in the sexiest scene in this movie. We'll get to it. Sorry. <laughs> she Wait, so she's the queen mom. Uh-huh. And she was dead for a while. And yeah. then she, I guess she was good at one time. And yeah, she's she was brought, good. brought back as an evil spirit Shao now. Shao Kahn resurrected. I, I was laughing at that. I got beer in my nose. Uh, yes, Eric. Uh, she was resurrected by Shao Kahn. And the resurrection made her evil. And made her like a trashy trophy wife. She's got like these like bad streaks in her hair. The real Dude. housewives of Outworld. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's another one whose makeup and dress is such that it could go porno at any. And she. Oh yeah. She's a character that looks like a Power Ranger porno parody. Yeah. She looks like that Rita whatever from yeah. from Power Rangers, mm-hmm. like the evil witch, sure. space witch yeah. thing. That's what she looks like. But she could also possibly be having sexual intercourse on screen. Oh, by the way, um, you know when your movie has a problem writing women? When you put your main character in a birdcage for most of it. Because <laughs> that's... Kitana's just in this birdcage, uh-huh. suspended from the thing. and Like, like she got kidnapped by a giant. <laughs> like, <laughs> fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an ancient princess. <laughs> So, it's so stupid. Liu Kang's first test is he gets knocked out by whatever. He has a nightmare about a dragon. He's like, oh, you passed the test or whatever. <laughs> ding, 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 says Nightwolf. <laughs> the first test is for his mind. The second test is for his dick, apparently. because there is, there is a fucking dick, dick test, test in this Dude, movie. Yep, totally. <laughs> Steve, please explain. Jade shows up. Like, he wakes up like, oh, man, Nightwolf left and took my wallet. Like, and it's <laughs> snowing in the desert now. <laughs> and Jade shows up, and she's like, oh, man, I heard about Princess Katana. That sucks. Want to fool around? Dude, it's insane. And he's almost catching a bead from this lady. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, wait. My heart belongs to Katana. And she's like, no, it's cool. It's a dream. And he's like, are you sure? How can I tell? <laughs> boy, I sure do want this. And I'm sitting there like, boy, I sure thought this was a fucking Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> fucking sex almost in this movie. And then they fight for four seconds and she's like, oh, you passed the second test. <laughs> Dude, she's laughing while he's like beating the shit out of her. And I'm like, what am I watching? And he gets all pissed off too because she's like, ha ha ha, I was just joking. And he's like, joking? I could have killed you. <laughs> we could have, someone could have gotten hurt. And I'm like, fuck you, Liu Kang, you're in a movie called Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <laughs> Everyone could be hurt. And fucking horseshit. That's it. No third test. No mention of third test. Nightwolf is what gone. Is the third test that she betrays them is that Jade? I don't. Maybe. I'm, t- I'm trying to. I'm no, trying to make the puzzle piece fit. I think <laughs> there's a thing where there's a whole lot of deleted scenes from this movie for mm-hmm. no reason. Yeah, this movie's 95 minutes long. Yes, there's holes out the ass. And it, it, I feel like there didn't need to be. No. Well, I mean, like, certain characters I was reading... Um, like that fucking striker scene, apparently. Like the like Mataro and What's-His-Face and, and Shiva were cut because their special effects were so expensive. Yes. They couldn't have them on screen for too long. Nightwolf is just a Native American gentleman with a painted face. And not for nothing, he's the best-looking character. He's yep. the best designed. Yep. His effects play the best. Like, he's even got his little green flame tomahawk that he throws. Yep. Like, it's all there. It does, and it works. And he's just like, oh, see you later, movie. And uh, his filmography is actually pretty awesome. He's in uh, Adaptation. Is he really? As, like, one of the guys, like, poaching the uh, orchids, I think. Oh, oh really? that's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's also the Indian in The Indian in the Cupboard. Wow, what? The that, Indian in the Cupboard? Wow. That might be a state tune. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. I saw that in theaters. Uh, uh, but, I saw this in theaters. <laughs> but you walked out, right? I walked out. Was this the only time you walked out of a movie? I think it might have been, yeah. And the thing is, I'm like, what were you thinking? Because <laughs> now I'm like, this is, this is a... 
good bad movie kind of. <laughs> I I uh, I stayed through it with my tear stained T shirt the entire movie. <laughs> what when did you leave? By the way. Um, yeah, what was the last straw for Eric? I believe it was when when Sonia and Jax were wandering in the desert. They're just right now. That's exactly where we are. There yeah, we are. That, we that, so that's where. Uh, good night, guys. Yes. <laughs> good night, everyone. Yeah. Now all of a sudden it turns into fucking Gus Van Sant's Jerry. All of a sudden. Oh man, which reminds me of the time Steve Sadak and I tried to watch Jerry. And gave up. No, we just fast forwarded to the end. Like, oh, he gets in a car. Got it. Done. Dude, I've never been more tired of living <laughs> than watching Gus Van Sant's Jerry. I fell asleep during that and I slept pretty well. You mm-hmm. wake up for that rock crack or what? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. You woke up and you were somehow watching Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and that I was like, this I can get behind. <laughs> Next on the Gus Van Sant channel, <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> For some reason, I had Elephant on DVD for a while. Dude, I had Elephant on yeah. DVD for a really long time. So if you're in a New York area, Goodwill and see Elephant. <laughs> you might. <laughs> there you go. My personal copy. <laughs> so Melina shows up. And sure. You're like, you know, you're like, all right, you got Sindel half naked, half through this movie. You yep. got literally Katana is in a bird cage, unable to speak. Jade's almost naked fighting in the snow. This movie's pretty misogynistic, right? Uh-uh. The nadir of class in this movie is this mud wrestling match. Fucking like a goddamn Montana roadhouse on a Tuesday <laughs> night, dude. We're just wrestling in the mud. In the mud. Where is there mud? We're in a dry as shit desert. Yes. And all of a sudden we're in a gigantic mud pit. And Jax is just standing in the background cheering everything on. And Sonya's fighting Melina. By the way, Melina, the way she's introduced into the movie is through flying psi cam. <laughs> yeah. Because Sonya's like, what's that? Cut to a flying psi, like on a camera, like through the air, like almost hitting the actress in the face kind of a thing. You know, I think this is where Sector might have been. He's in, <laughs> he's in the background holding a garden hose. <laughs> It's a living. <laughs> Sector is the pervy robot. Yeah. They made three robots. At least one of them's going to be pervy. One I, of them's going to be a pro- sex robot. I am programmed to make mud. <laughs> hey, Devin, uh, don't tell your mom about that real doll you saw in the trunk of my car the other day. It's, uh, well, it is what you think, but don't tell your mom, all right? Hey, guys, do you want to watch the man show? No, Sector, <laughs> we don't. Hey, guys, I just downloaded Adam Carolla's podcast. It's a good one. Dennis Miller is on. <laughs> and John Reese Davies hates Muslims. Oh, what? that? Do you hear about that one? Oh, yeah, that, that rocked my world. <laughs> Christianity is being murdered, indeed. We have to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, John Reese, are you sure that uh, when you said Muslims, you didn't mean Mexicans? <laughs> we usually talk about Mexicans on my podcast, but well, I guess we can talk about Muslims today. <laughs> you know, Mexicans are Muslims. <laughs> they're, they're Donald from... Trump told me that. <laughs> Everyone in Mexico is more Christian than John Reese Davies probably is. <laughs> Shakespearean actors can be ignorant too, Indy. <laughs> we can have biases and hate. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Yikes! I think I think it was a fucking an, an alternate John Reese Davies that <laughs> slid into this dimension. That's the only explanation. <laughs> what a that bunch or is of that, horseshit! Or was that hateful dwarf? <laughs> Oh, Ghibli show? No, yeah, oh, man. He Dude, wrote... one of the articles I read about it was like very unlike his character of Gimli. <laughs> I was like, fuck. What? You. I don't know. You, Gimli will fucking chew your ear off about orcs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no you problem. Know what? Gimli's got a real problem with orcs. <laughs> you, some would say he's got an axe to grind. <laughs> an actual axe. Because he's an axe wielding dwarf. So oh, this mud fight happens, and then, like, again, they mud- just get so mudded up. And again, you know what? What's bullshit? Melina doesn't get murdered. A lot of characters don't get murdered. They right. get defeated, and then like their power bar goes out. And it's like, in like in the game when you can't do when you're trying to do a fatality and you can't, people just fall down. That's yes. what this right, right, is. Right. It's, it's, she falls down, and a fucking again that seahorse goes like, and goes to nothing. All right, yeah, the tattoo yes. becomes. I guess is that like a soul, a, a dragon soul? They, uh, they so, explain it later mm, in the movie. I seem to kind of remember this somehow. So what that is 
is a uh, a temporary visitor's pass, as Raiden explains at the end of the movie. All <laughs> oh, right, because it's his family crest. Yes. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, only members of like the uh, the senior god family, elder god, elder god. Pardon, right? Me. The elder gods have these tattoos that let them like jump between that, worlds. That scene's actually where my favorite line of the movie is from, because Sonia goes up to uh, Raiden and says, "That tattoo, I've seen it before on a robot and a woman." <laughs> I think you nailed that delivery. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I could have done it a little more wooden. <laughs> Just slightly. But so all the dragons that are coming off of these robots and these women and so on, <laughs> they're kind of like temporary tattoos that yeah. they have that allow them to use the same power, but they're not part of Raiden's Elder God bloodline. By the way, this is all horse shit from a fucking fighting video game. And even it, 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 it starts to fudge it a bit because they make... Raiden and Shao Kahn. Bro- Shao Kahn's father gets a lot of screen time in this movie. <laughs> and I think he's played by somebody who I could not quite pinpoint. It was really bothering me. What is his name? Dominique Strauss Kahn? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a second I was like, whoa, did they recast Shao, S- Shao Tsung? Uh, oh, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. Yeah. Sorry, I can't remember. Did they whitewash the <laughs> casting of Shang Tsung? I mean, you've had two white guys play Raiden, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true, actually. And he's just like, hello, I'm your father. And Who's it's like, he, I don't think he's given a name, though. He's an elder god. Yeah, he's just an elder god, and and and, and how could I possibly care? I never understand the, um, in movies, when they do, you have a, a strong villain in Shao Kahn who's not I mean Brian Thompson's a name you know what I mean like yeah he's does he's doing a terrible job in this movie but that's fine keep the fucking helmet keep the helmet on yes yeah please keep the helmet on dude he's rocking this cue ball thing he looks like the WWE's Brock Lesnar (laughs) (laughs) fucking come on man but they always do this in movies when like to sort of add another element to it like well everybody's got a boss like I don't need Shao Kahn (laughs) Shao Kahn Shao Kahn to have a boss he (laughs) was Shang Tsung's he, he was the guy that... You changed. gotta serve somebody. He's Bob that, Dylan proverb, man. <laughs> Everyone's gotta serve somebody. He's, he's, uh. Shang Tsung got chewed out by him, and I guess he was always getting chewed out by Dominique Strauss-Kahn the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think that about sums it up. I think that does about sum it That's up. That's what this whole thing is. It's all, it's all the IMF. They're all coming in. <laughs> They're trying to merge with our world. So, do you guys remember when Jax fought a lizard? What was oh, that? Man. Was that reptile? I don't know. No. What the, this monster shows up three times, and it's pointless it's each like time. No, no one, no one moved the cursor <laughs> on, on, you know, the mouse on the visual effects rendering, so the screensaver <laughs> pops up. And Jack's like, "Get out of here!" He's like, "Get out of here, you big dummy!" And he like punches this thing for two seconds, and it goes. Rrr! And goes into a hole. It looks like a skinned lizard. Like, you know, it's got like a lot of, I, I mean, it's orange-ish, so it looks it like it's skinned. muscle. It and looks it, like it's skin. Dude, again, Resident Evil looking thing. Making Spawn look like Avatar. Yes. These things are disgusting. How do you get this thing in your movie? We haven't even gotten the animality, which is the worst special effect I've ever seen. So <sighs> apparently around now, for some goddamn reason, Raiden decides to become mortal. Yes. To I guess continue fighting alongside these people. I guess so. I you know you know Eric. I really don't know. Hey Devin, <laughs> uh, they don't let me park cars at this facility unless I get a haircut. So uh, <laughs> Raiden's got to get a haircut. Everybody. Yeah, do you, I think that kid bought it. I mean, I really got the haircut because I you know I was just in prison. <laughs> Dude, I love the idea that if he's going to become mortal. He's got to get a haircut and look like some sort of weird Venice Beach biker. Like, I don't know what is going on. And he's and it's just and, like, bl- like this dyed blonde hair and like this little gi he's wearing. I don't. It's so dumb. And I want to see like, where's that transformation scene where yes. it's like you're getting your God powers taken away and somehow your fucking hair is falling out. Like, right. I, what? I had a dream. Life was worth living. <laughs> it's like, it's like cutting his hair. He's sleeping in a grave. <laughs> I dreamed a dream. Shao Kahn went away. <laughs> but Shao Kahn strikes at night. It's that or needle in the hay. <laughs>
Oh man, that would be great if Raiden just opened up his wrists in a bathroom. Yeah, if I do it enough, I become mortal. <laughs> yeah, then my sister will date me, and now I can do Mortal Combat. <laughs> Immortal Combat doesn't exist. I Mortal- always wanted to play Mortal Combat. It's not said that much in this movie, actually. No, in the first really. movie, they're saying it every single minute. Well, because it's the Mortal Kombat tournament. There's yeah. no tourney here. Well, because yeah, the, that's the best part about the beginning. Is is like. Oh, I guess Shao Kahn's break of the rules making the first movie useless. Yep. And, and and it's some bullshit thing where there's a part where Raiden goes to, like, this weeping wall yeah. where it's like the th- these three elder gods are built into this wall and the computer graphics just look like a bunch of, like, liquid shit just falling out of a wall, <laughs> but they're talking to you. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, but I don't understand. I thought Mortal Kombat was, you know, the rules were sacrosanct or whatever. And the wall of shit is just like, I don't know, Raiden. We don't make the rules. We just watch things. It's a living. I mean, and also these these elder gods are like, they they say like everything's decided upon by Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So you're a, you're a god god. Sure. And you decide, eh, watch some... We'll, we'll, Oh, how are we going to figure this uh, feud out? I don't know. Two mortal humans beat each other to death. <laughs> how, how is this a system of government or religion? It makes no fucking sense. And also, how many people, how many good humans have died in Mortal Kombat for literally no reason then? <laughs> well, I know. Uh, what, what was his name? Art. Art. Art? Yeah. Just for nothing. Gave Art. his life for this country. Got Art nothing. still Art. waiting for that code. Dude, Art died in vain. <laughs> He's waiting for the code. So, I mean, I guess we all meet up together, you know, and Jax is doing some pithy one-liners to everybody. He says dissing at one point. Dude, to anyone who is listening, (laughs) which is no one. He is just talking to himself in this movie. Yeah, he's kind of like just talking at people. Hoping for a line to make a t-shirt eventually. It's garbage. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they get sort of ambushed by Sindel and um, and Shao Kahn, and Sindel does a scream, her special move. Yeah, yeah, the Banshee shout or whatever. And I guess they trick them into going into Outworld, which doesn't make a whole... I, I, I don't know. It's I mean, some weird thing where they're like, oh, look, I recognize that, and it's the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. And, and then he's <sighs> like, Shao Kahn is just like, you were right, Sindel, showing them that did trick them. And I'm like, fucking trick them for what? What is going on? Oh, and also... In the in the part of the theme of showing horrific things, we also get the World Trade Center. Oh, yep, you gotta have it. Mm-hmm. You gotta have it. It's Our world we're merging with that. Super Mario Brothers is merging with that. Whatever. <laughs> United ninety three is mer- no that, that got <laughs> shot down. And, but here is the other thing: is like, where is any of world government? Like, all these dudes are are karate guys. Like, I think I could fucking kill a militor, minotaur with a shotgun, right? Like, oh I, yeah, just a one blast to his horse I fucking think, face. I think Stryker represented the government. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, the entire world government yeah. was in a deleted scene. The one world government. Oh dude, you think NWO got involved in this? I do think so. <laughs> I definitely think so. But you're right though. There's no when all this merging is happening. Yeah. There's no shots of like. People running in the street like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, like, or a mass murder. They, they talk about these raiding parties that are going out and killing people and stealing their souls. You don't see any of that. And I'm like, come I on. I would love to see that. Yes. I would love to see just a suburban town being ninja kicked to death. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> one it, by one. It would be amazing, right, if it just cuts to, like, a bright, sunny street. Right, like, and like father a, and son are playing catch. Exactly. And then, like, a portal, a green fucking gushers portal just opens. <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> <laughs> hey Devin, get inside. <laughs> this doesn't look good. <laughs> but it would be such an amazing contrast and something interesting to see in this Mortal Kombat uh, sequel. It, yeah, it's the father and son playing catch, and all of a sudden the spear goes through dad's throat and oh, he's yeah. a scorpion. Well, Holy we can't shit. have that, dude, well, because yeah. that is violence, and we are just painfully reaching for this PG 13. It would be so cool, and you could actually film outside. Not on a soundstage with CGI. You could actually have real things going on. This movie, you're right. I mean, because this movie is entirely on a soundstage, except for, like, the scenes at that monastery. And the desert is... The desert, where... Is that where they also filmed Last Crusade? Speaking of Last Crusade? Oh, you know what? I think it might have been, because I I noticed that as well, yeah. When they get to that part where it looks like there's a house built into a mountain wall, and I was like... 
that fucking Indiana Jones there? <laughs> yeah, Shao Kahn's after the Holy Grail now. So we're I'll never this... go back to that land, Indy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and we are crusaders in an unholy land. <laughs> that <laughs> religion sounds like bullshit, Indy. <laughs> Goodbye. Boo. <laughs> and, and My one man stage. Oh, man. Do you think he's going to get booed at the next uh, LOTR con? No, no, not at all. Oh, come those, on. No. Listen, those, those, you get to a certain level nerd, they will cheer for anything. They'll cheer for their own death. <laughs> That's what you need so. in this suburban town where Mortal Kombat's coming true. Yeah. There's got to be a fat nerd going, yeah. Oh my God, it's Cyrax. <laughs> Do it, Cyrax. Yeah, then Cyrax rips his head off. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm being murdered by Cyrax. What a way to go. Oh, where's Sector? <laughs> oh, acid net. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Uh, come on, no, you know, you're, you're, you're right. right. You're, yeah, people, no, you know, you're, you're nerds right. still, still cheer George Lucas. That's, <laughs> well, he's, a, he's an all right guy at the end of the day. He's a very generous philanthropist. Yeah, he won't be talking smack on anybody's podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's true. I'll give him that much credit. I so mean, it's uh, the third act of this movie. We find out that a, Shao Kahn and Raiden are brothers, and Raiden yep. never killed him. And yep. Dominique Strauss Kahn is always just like not at all interested in Raiden for some reason. So, so it's a big fat whatever, and 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 Shao Kahn pushes Raiden off a cliff and kills him. No, he he gives him a little uh, Force Hadouken. Oh, does green, he? A green Force Hadouken. Oh, thing. that's cool. And Raiden's like, oh man. I just, you know, I, I'm so honored to die immortal. And everyone's like, nobody cares. Dude, you know what this is kind of like? It's kind of like how Thor is, like, obsessed with humans. And sure. Like, oh, you're petty humans, yeah. Thor. Yep. That's what this is. He's like, he fetishizes humanity. Mm-hmm. It's really bizarre. And he's like, oh, my God, thank God I got to die a human. <laughs> if only I could be masturbating while I was leaving this plane. Oh, it would be perfect. <laughs> and Raiden turns immortal. like, oh, man, do you think I could get, 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 get I get cancer. Oh man, that'd be so cool. That's so human, you guys. <laughs> so we're at this like final fight, and it's it's a three way fight. I think Dude, is the. Du- I got diarrhea. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Why did you tell me it was so cool? Oh, Andrew's new neighbors just got an earful. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, we're making a great rep now. Um, no, so it's like this fi- this final fight. So it's it's a three way fight we have going on. It's Liu Kang versus Shao Kahn, uh-huh. which that's like the main title bout. We've got um 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 um. Let's see, uh, uh, Mr. Ed versus Jax. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Jax, like, I'll take Mr. Ed, and literally that's, nobody laughed. Just so you know, that's Mataro. He's calling Mr. Ed. Oh yeah, yes. that's, that's that's the joke because he's like, talking half man, half horse. And then uh, uh, it's a four way fight because then Sindel versus Kitana. Right, and then. Uh, Sonya's just like it's like it's it's, it's, it's great because Jax is like I'll take Mister Ed and uh, Luke Kang is like yeah I'll take Shao oh, yeah. Kahn and she's and Katana's like I'll take my mother and Sonya's like I, I guess I'll take Ermac. <laughs> she that, says I'm she's, okay with leftovers. The leftovers, <laughs> dude. Oh, she's like I'm fine with leftovers and she starts fighting these faceless ninjas and she struggles to defeat Ermac. Th- what? That's bullshit because everybody else gets. D- does not need any help in the Mortal Kombat universe except for what's uh, Sonya because basically Ermac busts out Noob Saibot like anyone possibly could give a shit. Wait, Ermac turns into Noob Saibot or like he, he, he gets like a sp- double. Right? Yeah, yeah I he think splits or something. That might have been like a like a special move for him, like a shadow yeah. version, but maybe it is Noob Saibot. In, in the, I don't know. On the Wikipedia article, they referred to him I'm as sure Noob we're going we're gonna to get letters. Oh, People gonna are going to complain. John Davies is going to write his a tear soaked letter. You know what? There's going to be a bunch of letters explaining the Noob Saibot conundrum that I'm just going to instantly <laughs> delete. So <laughs> save your time. But everybody, yeah, everybody else could handle their shit, but Sonya, again, Turns into fucking Fay Ray. It's like, help me, yeah. someone help! <laughs> Just like that first movie. Yeah. It's insane. So we're fighting it up, and you know nobody really cares about anything. It's just the it, it's it's whatever. They're they're, they're losing, bad fights. They're losing, and then all of a sudden they all start winning. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and Jax for some reason thinks fighting a Minotaur without metal arms is a good idea. Yeah, he's like, well, no, because it's what Raiden said. Yeah. Like, you don't need these bionic implants, Devin. You can just be Devin. <laughs> Take your fake arms off and be Devin. Well, who cares what the robots at school say, Devin? You can just be yourself. 
You don't need those. I didn't finish school, Devin, and neither do you. <laughs> and I'm not a robot, and I'm pretty happy with your mother. Dude. <laughs> For now, I'm going to go get some smokes. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens at the 7-Eleven. Uh, so, yeah, no, Jax just, like, punches this horse in the face till it falls asleep. Yes. And he doesn't get killed. Nobody dies. No, it's not really. It's so uneventful. I mean. <laughs> well, Dominique Strauss-Kahn tries to interfere, right? And oh, yeah. He oh, gets Superman 2'd into yes! fucking the Phantom Zone. What the fuck? How do you not even acknowledge how much you're ripping off with that right there? He just, like, he turns into a bunch of cubes and goes, and it's gone. It's like he splits into several squares, and they all fold in on each other, and then just, boop. And we, then, then, oh, sorry. We, we are skipping over the animality, which is the worst part of this movie. Oh, oh Liu Kang God. turning into a dragon? And Shao Kahn turning, turning into, into a what Hydra? A hy- yeah, he's a Hydra. Hydra? Oh, since fucking when? <laughs> he's fr- apparently, he was from Greek mythology. <laughs> and then you got these two, these two nasty, ug- really ugly, really di- not, not just in CGI way, but in design. Like, Liu Kang should be more of that... Dude, or, or, you know, that... A big green lean dragon. Yes, when his like fatality in, in Mortal Kombat 2, because his fatality in Mortal Kombat 2 was turning into a dragon and biting your head off. Yes. That it's, fucking 16-bit video game looks better. looked leaps and bounds, but I cannot <laughs> believe... He looks like a, a little fat... That thing. It's just, what is this little fat thing? It looks Dude. like Spyro the dragon. <laughs> Dude, it is something games. out of fucking food fight. It's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> it's embarrassing that New Line Cinema was okay with this. And then yeah. they just flap at each other for a minute and then they fall down and they become he- regular people again. Yeah, regular people again. Not even a head bite. I hate it. It's, I, you, you show me a Hydra. I want a goddamn at least one head coming off and another one growing. It's got heads to spare. That's and, the whole point of it. And also, in the middle of your movie, Nightwolf comes up and says, the thing you have to do, the way that the reason this is a movie is because Liu Kang's going to learn how to do an animality, and that's how he's going to win the big thing. Hey, Liu Kang, this is how you get the credits to roll. <laughs> the only way the WGA will get any credit is if you learn anything in this movie. <laughs> Otherwise, it's actually just a video game. Yeah, we have to... We have to prove to them that this whole thing wasn't just made up on the spot. <laughs> but it happens and nothing just it, nothing comes of it. They just go back to people and then what, he breaks his neck or something? Well, basically, at the, uh, Dominic Strauss-Kahn turns into cubes. Dominic <laughs> Strauss-Kahn, And dude. all of a sudden, um, the Elder Gods show up who are nobody and, and who cares less. It's nobody and Mrs. Nobody. <laughs> right, and Raiden's inheritance comes in. <laughs> Cha-ching. Yeah, wait to just nice. get help from your parents, Raiden, you fucking jerk. And the, the, one of the Elders is like, now the only way this can be finished is in Mortal Kombat. And then this, this, the song starts kicking in. Dude, and, and I'm not going to lie to you. I've spent 87 minutes being frustrated, <laughs> bored, kind of tired. But then that song kicked in, and I was like, fuck, yeah, <laughs> Mortal Kombat movie! And all of a sudden, Cyrex <laughs> is killing me! <laughs> this is so awesome! It's the way I want to go! Fuck yeah, belly missiles! <laughs> I mean, Spector might, <laughs> Spector might have been a little bit better, but... <laughs> Everybody likes red better than yellow. Oh, yeah. oh man, it'd be cool if I got double teamed by Sector and Cyrax. Cyrax puts me in his net, and then Sector uses chest missile to destroy me. And then it actually happens, and and you know Cyrax is killing this nerd, and and uh, Sector's <laughs> just spraying him with a guard nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is. And then Mrs. Sadak comes out and gives them both 50 bucks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, this was a lot easier. If I'd known it was going to be this convenient, I would have done it years ago. <laughs> and, Goodbye. But it's great because the music goes bomb, bomb, bomb. And then, like, Shao Kahn almost immediately gets the upper hand and it stops. And he starts Robert De Niro kicking him on the floor. <laughs> Dude, there is so much Robert De Niro kicking in this movie. It's not, it's not just Shao Kahn that does it. At least four characters in this movie commit Robert De Niro's <laughs> stomach kicks. And I can't even believe it. And then Liu Kang starts feeling it from the crowd again. And the music starts up again. And he wins. I mean, I, I guess he does break his neck, right? That's how he does it? I think he just breaks his neck. Is the, yeah, cause, sure. Be, well, no, because that's what it is. Because it is indeed Mortal Kombat. Oh. Yeah. Shao Kahn has also lost his powers. Oh. So it's Liu Kang and Shao Kahn just fighting as people. Not as Very dragons good. and hydras. Not as dragons and hydras. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah, and he just murders them, and that's yeah. kind of just that's the end just of it. That's just the end of it, right? And then because he died, somehow the timeline gets reversed or something. Whatever. Because all of a sudden, we're just... 
this is my favorite part of the movie. We're back to the temple. It's a beautiful day out. But then we also just cut to stock footage of New York City and San Francisco. Yep. And it's like, San Francisco, <laughs> the Big Apple, restored to their former glory. And it's just like scratchy, dirty fucking footage. It's unbelievable. And all of a sudden, uh, for some reason, uh, Stryker and Cabal are still in the desert calling each other Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Stryker's just beating Cabal <laughs> over the head with a rock because he doesn't want to see him die. And then all of a sudden, ironically, a family comes and picks up Stryker, and he has to live with that shit. <laughs> yep, for the rest of his Stryker days. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then it's just everything's back to normal. Katana lays one on Liu Kang like I've Fucking never seen. finally, man. They try to do it earlier in the movie, yeah. and that's when the Sub-Zero interruption happens. <laughs> Or Smoke? Oh, no, that's when Smoke interrupts. Or Sub-Zero Jr. What happens to Sub-Zero Jr., man? Like, what's... Uh, I think he... Uh, I don't know. He's I... got a shift at the ice cream bar. Right, yeah, he gets a job he inherited... at Car- Carvel. He, he inherited the family business when his <laughs> older brother died in Mortal Kombat or whatever. He's wearing his Letterman jacket from high school. You know what would have happened if he was just like, hey, I'm Sub-Zero? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nobody... No one in the world at that point. And you know what, movie? You can't have it both ways. You can't have it be Sub-Zero's little brother and then just not explain away Scorpion. (laughs) That's not how it works. It's one or the other. Either they're both little brothers or they're both (laughs) just the same fucking people and they're these, like, you know... Timeless beings, like a Jason Voorhees, if you yeah, will. Yeah, you know, give Sub Zero a cold skull instead. Oh my God! Do you think Scorpion oh. was Roy? Ooh. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I think so. Scorpion poser, absolutely. Yeah, so at the end of this movie, <laughs> Raiden is like, "Well, I'm back, and now I'm an Elder God." And he and he's like, "Yeah, Raiden gets a promotion at the end of this." Mm-hmm. He's like, "You all passed the team building exercise, and now you're like family." And it's like, what? The word family should be nowhere near a Mortal Kombat movie. Nope. And you know what this is? This this goddamn speech that he gives is in tone, and in, it's not like a verbatim thing, but it's in tone and, and, and in meaning Carlin's speech at the end of the first Bill and Ted, <laughs> yeah. where it's like, and I'll be watching you and make sure you're most excellent to each other. Like that's because yeah. he's like, he's like, you're a family now and I'm going to be keeping my eye on you and you all be good to each other. I'm going to fly up into the sky. You hear that, Devin? If, if they could be a family, maybe there's hope for us <laughs> after all. Well, I was hoping like it would be amazing. So James Remar Raiden dies on Outworld and then all of a sudden we come back and glorified Christopher Lambert shows up for yep. the last scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was back. I was hiding the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed making friends with my stunt double. <laughs> 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 I had to take a quick vacation. Looks like everything was under control. <laughs> I had my little brother, Braden, come out. <laughs> He hangs out with Scorpion's little brother and Sub-Zero's little brother. You might not know this from playing the games, but there is a whole Mortal Kombat family for every character. Meet my sister, Jaden. God. Yeah, that is horrifying, <laughs> right? I want that third movie now. Yeah. Oh, man, that third movie's been in the works for a long time. Apparently even destroyed by Hurricane Katrina at <laughs> yeah, one I point. Saw that. Which, you know what, Mortal Kombat 3, way to blame it on Hurricane Katrina. Well, the Elder Gods have said no. <laughs> <laughs> Would anybody recommend this Mortal Kombat movie? You know, no. It's... It's kind of seeing as I, I think it's kind of worth it. Right. I, I it's not it's kind of a fun bad movie, especially if you have if you have any affinity for the Mortal Kombat characters. It's it's cosplay. It's like, oh cool, you're going to the world's somewhat worst cosplay convention. Dude, because if you, you could do much better at home. Yeah, no, absolutely. If you want to see a bunch of porno stuntmen yep. make a Mortal Kombat fan <laughs> film, yep. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is for you. I say absolutely. I mean this is I think it's so good it's bad. It's yeah. just so bad. I mean, I recommended the first Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yes. I, I couldn't believe I did that then. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing it again, but this is just... Oh, boy. You get some friends around, maybe Devin. <laughs> you put it up on the big screen. Please invite Devin over. He's got to get out he, of the yeah, house. Yeah, he doesn't have many friends. No. Uh, no, I mean, this is... It's a seeing is believing, and I'll tell you right. I'll tell you what right now. It's on HBO Go. 
This is September the 8th. This episode's coming out. You guys got till Halloween. <laughs> I saw the expiration date last night when I watched it. You got till fucking Halloween to watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and it's going to knock your socks off because it is, in the loosest sense of the word, a movie. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of our uh, first episode back for Animation Damnation as well, right? That was fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a cartoon. This is a cartoon in, in, in the best way possible. Actually, this is an insult to cartoon makers. Oh, yes. <laughs> Those poor cartoon makers. <laughs> That's Mortal Kombat Annihilation from 1997, directed by John R. Leonetti. If you want to get a hold of us, check out our website, whmpodcast.com, or find us on the Sideshow Network, Sideshow Network. Dot TV. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We are at WHM Podcast. Right into the mailbag. We all hate movies at gmail.com. Clue for next week's all new listener request month episode. Made for television. Ooh. Ooh. That's uh pretty vague. And I like it that way. A lot of people complain that we're like too on the nose yeah, with yeah, clues yeah. and whatnot. So there you go. Made for television. Figure that shit out. And I want to say thanks, Sam, for calling in uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Very much. Thank you to Sam for calling in. uh, uh, I wouldn't have watched this any other way. So uh, (laughs) there you go. So Listener Request Month continues next week, gang. Until then, I'm Andrew Jupin. Eric Siska. Steven Zeta. Take it easy. Take it easy.